subscribers, welcome to another episode of In A Week. I'm your host Sohim. Today we're going to do a book review on this book called A History of Japan in Manga. It's written by Shunichiro Kanaya and translated by Zach Davison. So now let's get into the book review. Author of History of Japan in Manga is Shunichiro Kanaya. He is a lecturer in the Department of Japanese History at Toshiba High School, which is in Musashino, Japan. He is the author of several books on Japanese history and has appeared as a history commentator on NTV, Fuji TV, and Tokyo TV. The translator of this book is Zach Davison. Zach is an award winning translator, writer, and a folklorist. He translated books like Sosiki Natsume's I Am a Cat and Shigeru Mizuki's multiple Eisner award winning book called Showa. A History of Japan. I have bought and read a lot of books on the history of Japan. I'm well aware of the main events and key players in Japanese history from Sengoku period till the modern times. However, the pre Sengoku period of Japanese history was very confusing for me. There are key factors I want to discuss about this book that helped me understand these historical events and key players of Japanese history. The author Shunichiro Kanaya said that while he was teaching history, he realized that comics are the most effective medium for educating students about the past because comics are best medium to capture history in a dynamic and lively way. I agree with the author about comics being the best medium to study as they are clear in depicting the situation virtually to a student. You can also learn at your own pace by slowing down reading when you're tired. After I finished reading this book, I found out a number of things that helped me understand Japanese history better. This book is divided into 10 chapters that are separated by a particular period of Japanese history. Before a chapter begins, there's a table of year and main events from the beginning till the end of that particular period of Japanese history. These tables helped me understand the events of the period chronologically. Then the book uses manga dialogue of key players in that period so we can understand their significance to that period in Japanese history. Followed by a map of Japan with text boxes summarizing events and lines pointing from text boxes to the map where historic events took place. The text boxes on the map were also numbered in the order of earlier events to later events. In the end of all the chapters, a short article follows where important aspects of the period were summarized, sometimes using tables to clear up the difficult concepts and make them easy to understand. By reading this book, it seems like I'm reading a cheat sheet for a Japanese history exam. I thought it was an ingenious way to teach Japanese history. Personally, when I was reading regular books on Japanese history, I was always confused about the key players from the middle of the 6th century till the end of Muromachi period. There was so much going on in Japanese history during these periods that I was lost in transition. Yes, I mean lost in transition. However, with the help of the tables, manga stories, maps, and informative sidebars of this book, I was able to comprehend these periods clearly. Mm -hmm.